Hey, everybody. This is a clip from the latest episode of The Randy Road Show. If you want the full episode, you can watch live on Free Speech TV, Dish Channel 9415, Direct TV 348, Sling, Roku, and Apple TV. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created to the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey! It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your mind. African-American maternal mortality rates are three times those of white people, white women. How can we address this issue of the disparity between the health rates? So, can I sound just a little bit impatient here? I, I want you all to think about this. It's exactly as the Reverend Daughtry said. It's African-American women died about three times the rate of white women. And that's true when you adjust for everything, for education, for income, for neighborhood. Something bad is going wrong. And the idea that we say, well, we're going to raise awareness about this. I mean, I'm not opposed to raising awareness, but I want to see something real happen. And for me, that means money. So I want to see us put in the resources into the places that are treating black women, into the hospitals, into the doctors, into the community centers where they receive treatment. I want to see us put the money into the studies to figure out what's going wrong. This is literally a matter of life and death. And I'm way past let's raise awareness about this. I'm to the point of saying, let's do something about this. So these are the topics that are being discussed on the campaign trail by Democrats. And of course, Donald Trump is on the campaign trail uh, talking about New Hampshire was stolen from him and uh, white supremacy and immigrants are, uh, you know, somehow costing us money when uh, obviously we know that immigrants contribute about a trillion dollars to our economy every single year and that immigrants to this country are more likely to start a small business than native born Americans are. And, uh, you know, that they are uh, an important part of paying into Social Security uh, taxes that they will never benefit from. You know, I mean, it's, it's just such a there's such a contrast here. You know, I, I, Trump is, is 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 playing conspiracy theories on the campaign. You know, uh, there, there's there's illegal voters in California. New Hampshire was stolen from the, the Federal Elections Commissioner st- uh, got on the TV this weekend and said, if you have any proof that anything was stolen from you, I would say, uh, you know, show it to the Federal Election Commission, because otherwise uh, just shut up about it, because no Nothing, nothing like that has happened, okay? And if it hasn't happened, you really shouldn't be telling people everything is rigged and that illegals or or, or dead people vote 10 times. I mean, it's just such a, a strange environment. I, I can't even believe this is really happening in this country, that people don't know what to believe. Truly, you don't know what to believe. You don't know that things haven't improved financially for you. You don't know that things are getting more expensive, even though he keeps telling you that uh, you're not paying for these tariffs. We're seeing inflation begin. We're seeing wages, you know, stay stagnant. Maybe wages go up 1.3 percent. Prices go up 2.5 percent, which means it's it's still costing you more to live uh, than before he was president. What's wrong with people? You know, I, I keep reading these weird news stories of, of people at a farmer's market and, and Klansmen, uh, you know, uh, uh, doing watches in all white neighborhoods. And, and the leading cause of death uh, for black men is, is, is being shot by a police officer. And, and four kids in Arkansas are held at gunpoint by some woman who's terrified of black kids fundraising for their football team. And immigrants have to go back. And the real problem with Israel is Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib 
when there's this white supremacy and the Proud Boys, you know, you got Patriot Prayer Guy surrendering himself to the police. You got 12 arrested over the weekend. You got uh, some truck driver at an ICE facility who, who, who slams his truck into a 64-year-old man and breaks his leg and causes internal bleeding. And Lou Dobbs is on Fox News saying the protesters caused their own internal bleeding injuries. I mean, this is a sick world. This is just so bizarre. I can't, I, I can't even, and it's getting so bad. It's getting so strange. It's getting so dangerous. It's getting to the point where people just, uh, you know, they're just shooting and, and, and arsenals and kids and Twitter and, and hostage taking. And I, I just, I can't, uh, I can't even stand it. I really, I don't even know. And this man won't stop. He, all he talks about is how New Hampshire was stolen from him and crowds. I mean, literally, he was on the tarmac this weekend and they were asking him about, you know, uh, the likelihood of a recession and why doesn't he cut the crap with his trade war and farmers are not, uh, you know, uh, they're not exactly buying his swill. They are uh, literally insulted by him and by Sonny Perdue, who said that farmers were a bunch of whiners, you know, that they should just find their patriotism and, and take one for the team while their entire uh, uh, businesses are being uh, decimated by this man. Soybeans are rotting and, and farmers don't know when they're going to ever get their market back because he destroyed it. And he's saying, uh, you know, uh, uh, people need to be institutionalized. Guns are not the problem. It's, it's deranged people. And uh, Fox News is against him now. Uh, yeah, and it, like all of a sudden he noticed Juan Williams, who is like a token liberal who's been on Fox News for like 20 freaking years. All of a sudden he's like, oh, well, Juan Williams is ruining Fox News and I don't know why they're trashing me and my crowd size in New Hampshire and, 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 and windmills kill people and... I mean, it's just this is this is an unhinged man. How how is he allowed to even stay? Well, Fox has always given me. I tell you, Fox is a lot different than it used to be. I can tell you that. Oh my God. Uh, Juan Williams. What? Then they have the wonderful woman that gave Hillary Clinton the questions. That was a terrible thing. And all of a sudden, she's working for Fox. What's she doing working for Fox? Fox has changed. And my worst polls have always been from Fox. There's something going on at Fox, I'll tell you right now. And I'm not happy with right it. I'll tell you right now. boom boom. I don't know what's happening with Fox, but when they have like a Juan Williams, who's never said a positive thing, and yet when I show up at the Fox building, he's out there, oh, sir, could I have a picture with you? Could I have a picture? And he was 100% nice. I mean, you've never asked me for a picture. Sure. No, no, they have to run it the way they want to run it. But Fox is different. There's no question about it. And I think they're making a big mistake because Fox was treated very badly by the Democrats, very, very badly, oh having to do with the debates and other things. And I think Fox is making a big mistake because, you know, I'm the one that calls the shots on that on the really big debates. I guess we're probably planning on three of them. What is he talking I, about? Well, I'm very I'm not happy with Fox. I'm certainly happy. I think Sean Hannity and Lou Dobbs and I think Tucker Carlson and Laura and uh, Jesse Waters and Janine. We have a lot of great people. Oi. Even Greg Gutfeld. He wasn't good to me two years ago. Now he sees all I've done. He said, would you rather have a great president or a nice guy? I don't know. I think I'm a nice guy. But nobody's done in two and a half years what I've done. And I say that a lot. And very few people can challenge it. The first two and a half years, Nobody's done what I've done in terms of tax done? cuts, regulation cuts, the military, the vets, the choice, so many different things. Nobody's done that. Mexico's going to pay for the wall. We're going to do an infrastructure bill. I saved it for the second year because it's so easy. And health care, you're going to have a cheaper, better health care plan. It's going to be so amazing. The man has done nothing except transfer the wealth to the top 1%. 83% of that tax cut went to the top 1%, and everybody freaking knows it, okay? He's destroying our economy. He, he has absolutely no clue what he's doing on trade, and he is literally destroying a 10-year expansion. By, uh, by, by, by engaging in this bizarro trade war. I mean, you know, he's, he, and all he talks about, New Hampshire was stolen from me. Uh, all over the place, everybody's saying, wow, our competitor has 
virtually no crowd. I don't know what that means. I assume that's a poll of some kind. But I think we're going to do very well in New Hampshire. Uh, New Hampshire should have been won uh, last time, except we had a lot of people come in at the last moment, which was a rather strange situation. Thousands and thousands of people coming in from locations unknown. But I knew where the location was. But I think we're going to have, I think we're going to have a tremendous success in New Hampshire. What is he talking about? Thousands and thousands of people came into New Hampshire from places unknown, but I knew where they were. He was doing it again this weekend. He was talking. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Every place I go, we have lines outside. Then we have even phony stuff with that. You guys were in New Hampshire. Maggie was there. You saw that room was packed. And they had thousands, Maggie. There were thousands of people outside. And then I see some phony website, some wise guys put up. That place was packed. And the New York Times actually saw that. And actually, there was a massive flag behind, and even the seats behind the flag where you had no view. Because those people came down to be on the floor. But the, all of the people, any empty seat, you had the people come down to be on the floor. He is so twisted. He's, he's, he's explaining why there were empty seats behind him. It's because the people came down to be on the floor. What is wrong with him? Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From Radio Beacon to Radio Beacon. 